Hi, my name is Eric Turnison and I'm the founder of MemberMouse. And welcome. I'm really excited to have you on board. And in this video, I'm going to do my best to give you a high level overview of the plugin so you can get your bearings and know where things are and know how to get help. Um, and I'll start with the help aspect. Um, getting started with anything new, um, there's always a learning curve. And we understand that. So what we've done is we've provided a lot of video training and support articles in our support center so that all the common questions that people normally run into that they have when they're getting their membership site set up is answered uh, in an on-demand fashion so you can get those whenever you need them. Um, one really quick and easy way to do that is from any screen in the member mouse plugin, you'll notice there's a need help menu in the upper right hand corner. You just roll over that and you'll see related video to some articles. And this will show you video training and articles associated with the page you're looking at. So we were just looking at payment settings. So here we can see an um, article on configuring Stripe, a uh, video on uh, an overview of the payment method screen, etc. So in this sense, help is always a click away. And of course, if you ever need help on something that you can't find uh, in our support center, we don't want you to be banging your head against the desk or anything like that. Please email our support team. We want to help you get started with Member Mouse as quickly as possible. So come over here, fill out this form, shoot it over to us, and we will get back to you as soon as possible. We do our best to answer all emails within one business day, and we are typically a lot quicker than that. So please do utilize us as a resource. All right. With that said, let's just quickly run through some of the main sections of the Member Mouse plugin. Here's the dashboard. You have some snapshots of things going on. You have your training videos, some quick links, uh, support links, and links to the Member Mouse Academy episodes and news for Member Mouse. Next, we have the Manage Member screen. This is probably where you're gonna be spending a lot of time. This is where you we provide you with all the tools you need to manage your members and handle a lot of those customer support requests that come through. You have your advanced search tools up here so you can locate the member you're looking for. And then once you've found them, you go into what we call the member details area. And here you have just a wealth of information. You have general information here. On this tab, you can control access rights. On this tab, you can see all the transactions, all the payments that this customer has made and, and issue refunds if that's necessary. You can see an activity log of everything that the customer's done on your site, including pages of access, billing events, uh, access rights level changes, etc. There's a lot of power here, and I highly recommend you take some time and go to those related training videos and articles for the member details area and um, watch them so that you understand how to, how to manage your members. There's just a lot of stuff here that Member Mouse provides, and understanding how you can leverage these tools to help your customers is going to make your life a lot easier. Next, we have the product setting screen. There's gonna be a video that I go over this in detail in the future, so I'm just gonna glance over this real quick. This is where you're gonna create products, which are the billable units that actually determine how much a customer is gonna be charged. Uh, is this a, a trial? Is this a monthly product? Is this a one-time payment? And then you can create your membership levels and bundles. Membership levels and bundles are used to control what content a customer gets access to based on what they've purchased. You can create coupons here. And you can also protect content using our drip content scheduler. Next, we have checkout settings. This includes things that will affect your checkout form. Here you can create custom fields if you want to um, collect additional information from customers when they're signing up. You can do that here. You can control what countries people can check out from. You can create shipping methods. And then there's other settings that you can do as well. Payment settings. This is where you're going to configure your payment settings. You can have one on-site payment method, which is a payment method where you actually accept credit cards on your site. Currently, I'm integrated with Stripe. And then you can have one or more off-site payment methods, which are payment methods where the customer is taken off of your site to a third-party site, um, and they'll complete their transaction there and then be redirected back to your site once payment is completed. A good example of this is PayPal. So you can have one or more of these selected. One thing that you're going to want to do once you get your payments methods set up is run this diagnostic. This is going to have MemberMouse ping your site 
And make sure there's nothing on your server blocking member mouse from communicating with your site, which could have an impact on billing. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure and run that. What you can also do here is set up test data. Test data is valuable during uh, getting your site set up because it allows you to pre-enter in form data so that that form data can automatically be loaded on the checkout form and you don't have to enter it in every time you wanna run a test. Next, we have email settings. This is where you're gonna configure member mouse to integrate with an email service provider such as MailChimp or GetResponse. A similar thing with affiliate settings. This is where you can integrate with iDev Affiliate. And you can also set up your affiliate settings for member mouse, including creating commission profiles and manage your tracking settings. Next, we have developer tools. And again, I'm gonna go over this in a future video, but for right now, uh, push notifications is a very powerful component of Member Mouse. You'll definitely wanna watch the videos associated with this. It allows you to send emails to yourself or members of your team based on real-time events in Member Mouse. It also lets you send that information to scripts you may write, which gives you a whole wealth of opportunities in terms of integrating with third-party systems and doing other things based on real-time activity in your Member Mouse site. Here you'll get your API credentials if you want to utilize the API. And here you have documentation on our WordPress hooks and filters and our PHP interface. Next, we have web forms. We have a free member web form and a login form. Now these web forms are only meant to be used on third party sites. For example, say you have a microsite uh, that's pushing traffic to your membership site. That would be a good place to use the free member web form. You can generate the HTML here copy that, put that on your third party site, and now you can actually have members signing up from that location on your membership site. Next, we have logs. We briefly looked at the activity log for a single member before. This is the entire activity logs for all members on your site, and you can filter this down based on event type. So if I wanna see all billing events for all members, I can do that here. And finally, we have general settings. There's a lot of stuff on this screen most of it you're gonna to come to on an as needed basis. And of course, there's a lot of documentation on the items on this screen in the support center, which you can review. The one thing I do wanna mention is the concept of employees. Um, employees are people that on your team you can set up access for with different levels of access. And also whenever you're sending out emails for member mouse, like for example, the welcome email on a membership level, and you can select the from email address for that email, Member Mouse will populate that dropdown based on the employees you have set up here. So if you want to send welcome emails from a particular email address, you would create an employee here with that email address so that you can then select it when you're configuring your welcome emails. Finally, we have the reporting suite. And on the reporting suite, you're going to get an overview of your members, including your average customer value, which is a very important number. It allows you to know on average how much customers are worth to you. So using this number, if you know your customer acquisition cost, you will know if you're being profitable or not. Next, we have our new members graph, which shows us how many members were added for each membership level over time. And we have a revenue graph, which shows us our revenue over time, including total revenue, average daily revenue, and monthly revenue, and our retention rates and our churn rates. And keep in mind, both of these graphs are controlled by the fields up here at the top so I can specify a date range and also an interval. So that's a really quick overview of the Member Mouse plugin. And what I really wanted to help you understand is where things are in the plugin so that you're not clicking around and getting lost when you're trying to get your site set up. So now hopefully you have a pretty good idea about where everything is in the plugin. And of course, remember, if you ever need help on any page you're on in the plugin, just go to the Need Help menu and click related videos and articles, or email us if you need to ask our team a question. Thanks so much for watching and welcome to Member Mouse.